it's Ashley here with Grateful Art. Today I'm going to show you guys how to paint this beautiful mountain forest scene inspired by the state of Idaho. If you guys don't already know, I am traveling and painting in all 50 states where I get the inspiration for all the paintings that I share with you guys in my tutorials. Today I want to show you guys how to paint the sunset with the reflection on the lake with some mountains back here and some pine trees. It's really going to be pretty and I'm really excited to show you guys this. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my big fat brush here and I have made a nice little gray here with my complementary colors and if you want to learn more about how colors work go ahead and click right here and you'll get weekly art lessons. Okay so I'm going to put down this nice gray and as you can see it's got a little bit of a purple tint to it and these grays are just going to make the colors stand out. This is a very impressionistic painting so I'm not going to put a whole lot of detail into it. I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to go right here with my mountain just trying to get like the basic shape so I can know where to put my sun. I'm going to clean out my brush so I'm going to get myself some white and I'm going to go right in here with my white. This is just going to keep these colors really really saturated through here but this is going to help me with blending as well. So now I'm going to pick where I want my sun. I'm going to grab my round brush and I'm going to divide my canvas into thirds here and I'm going to pick the spot for my sun and it's going to be close to that third. So I'm going to pick it right here and I'm going to go around that with some metallic gold and it will mix in with my white so I might have to wait for that to dry to get it to really shine. But I'm going to start with that for now. Okay, then I'm going to take my small flat brush and I'm going to make a creamy yellow color and I'm going to go around my sun with that yellow. And I'm just being very loose here. I'm going to make my color a little more saturated just where it's close to the sun right here. Now I'm going to take that yellow and I'm going to go just around this edge here. If you're wondering what this is, this is that sun shining off of these clouds up here. And I have a little bit of the sun shining off this mountain as well, so I'm going to mix these colors in here. And have some coming off of this. Okay, then I can take that buttery yellow and just spread it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of my orange right here. Okay, and come up through there. And I just need to make sure that I tone that down a little bit. Okay, and then when I go and I put in my mountain, I'm going to start with the orange. Okay, I'm going to come up and then I'm going to transition into that purpley gray. Make sure that it's really light. See, I might want to get rid of the mountain just a little bit through here. Just so it's not so close. There we go. I pushed it off to the side just there a little bit. Okay, and then I drag this color down. Start darkening it over here as I go down. I'm not done with the sky just quite yet. I'm going to add a little bit of that orange here with my purple just to soften it. Okay. Now I'm going to start adding in my cool color, which is my blue, and it's just going to softly come in, okay? So I want to see how it's going to mix right down here, okay? I might want to have a transition, so I'm going to add in this purple right here, and it's slowly going to go to this blue. So I'm going to add another layer of mountain. I'm going to 
leave that ridge a little bit of the darker color. I can always come in and soften it. Push this down. Okay, and start transitioning into my blue color. So I'm going to leave this really wet and I need my cool color to come in here and start mixing. So I'm going to give the look of some mountains back here just by having the shape of them. Okay, and then I'm going to pull down. I'm going to let this come down in kind of like this formation right down here. So it's going to come down and then come back up. Now I'm going to take that straight aqua color and I'm going to create a mountain. So I'll just fill it in. I'm going to just combine the aqua and the purple for a little bit here. Come up a little bit on the side. Give it a nice transition. If I bring in that aqua up here, it'll look more like it belongs. A different color, I'm going to put black into it. Bring it down here to give it some dimension. The trees in the background are pretty easy. I'm going to add my purple color and I'm just going to come down here a little bit and pull up and across like this. You don't have to get really detailed with the trees at all. They're too far away to get detailed. I just have my flat brush here. That's how I'm doing it. I can pull up a little bit just to frame it in. And I can add a little more dimension right here going up a little bit. So it just adds something to it. And then I take this bottom and I want to straighten it across. And I just don't want to lose that texture so as I pull it, I also blend a little bit and blotch it. All right, this is gonna be fun down here, okay? So we're just gonna add some yellow and it's gonna be very bright and saturated. If you don't know what saturated means, we've been learning all about that in our lessons. So you can go ahead and grab your lessons by clicking right over here and becoming a Creative Art member. So that yellow up against that purple is really powerful. Even though it's a dark purple, it just looks gorgeous. Every once in a while I'll catch a little bit of that dark color and then I'll just pull it off my brush. Okay, now I'm going to make this whole area yellow for now so that it can be the undercoating of this painting. Go ahead and fill that in. That's pretty right now, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to take my orange. It's going to be a little less of a saturated color. I'm just going to put it in here and play as I go. So I'm, I'm crossing over, but I'm going to leave right below the sun open. Okay. So I'm pulling down and I'm going across and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and then I'm going to give myself a transition zone where I have a mix of this orange and this yellow and it's going to go right through here. So it's just a little bit of a different color. Let's kind of look in here and seeing if I would like to add some light color to it, and I would. I'm going to add a little bit of white over the yellow in a glazing type way so you can see the yellow underneath. Alright. And frame it in down here. Okay, 
So there's a lot of like dead bushes and flowers and stuff that will be silhouetted right through here. And remember this is impressionistic so you don't have to do all this but because it is I'm going to pull in some of my color that's up here. So I'm going to take some of my teal color and I'm going to pull it in here like that and down through here and it'll give a cool color to that area. And then I can always bring in some of the red and any of the colors that I have throughout here into this area. And this impressionistic part means that we're not really following a picture so much as we're just going with the flow and seeing what it needs right through here. And you can pull on the rocks by just doing some rock shapes, but just realize you're going to have to put in a lot more colors than this. Okay, so I have to add in my shadow. You know, it doesn't look quite like rocks yet. Then I want to come up to this corner and cover that corner. Okay. And I can take my dark and put in my shadows. I'll add in some red. And I'll go over any of my lines that I want to go over. So, for example, I may want to add in this yellow. And I can just go back over it when it's dry. So I'm going to take a minute and keep forming this around here with my dark color and start pulling in my cool colors for my rocks. So my teal okay where I have a rock that means I'm gonna have cracks in my rock so just come in here and shape it and it doesn't have to look exactly like a rock either this is just an impressionistic painting. Okay, but you're going to have to have light and dark areas. All right, so it's time to add in your trees. And I'm going to make sure I add in my tallest tree first. And I'm grabbing some of my orange here. And I'm going to start right up here. And I'm going to put in my tree with the orange. Okay, this is going to be that light that's hitting the tree. I'm just very randomly selecting what branches I want to come out, how I want them to look. Okay, it's going to get wider as I go down. You can even paint your line of your trunk going down so it'll help you as a guide. But you're going to take that all the way to the bottom. So I'm just leaving some of the gaps so you can see behind the tree. I'm following the shape of the tree, which is kind of a tall, skinny tree. Okay. Now once I get down here, I want to pull in that dark purple color. Okay. So through here, it's purple and you can leave some of your trunk showing to make it look realistic if you'd like. I'm going to pull in some of that orange just to give it some contrast through here. And then you start pulling in that dark color all the way to the top, that dark purple color. So concentrating on the middle part more than the edges because you'll still see some of that orange okay and then you can pull in that purple color a little bit on the top here now this one is going to be more of a green tree so I'm going to mix my teal with my yellow ok 
okay and I'm coming down here and I'm giving a little break between that tree that's right there and I'm going to start with the green and then I'll add the dark on top okay now I'm going to go more into the purple color so I can have more contrast through here I'm going to just check my contrast and pull up some of that contrast up here in the tree so you'll still see some of that green and then I'm going to pull it down make sure I don't make it too crooked leave some gaps in between and then I can pull in that green on the top of my black especially in this dark area just adds that need for dimension and I'm gonna pull in this purple color for the trunk add it in a few spots through here so it's showing it's gonna come all the way down to these rocks so I can come in here and add the rest of the tree okay and you want this tree to reach all the way to the side of your canvas and it should appear like it's over the other tree it's in the front of it So you have to make it a little bit more dark than the other tree. And that tree comes all the way down here to this foreground area. Okay. I do recommend letting that dry because you have another tree that's going to go over the top of it. Any tree it's just right here on the side and if it's not dry the colors will mix underneath it. So I'm going to have to take off that color with my brush but I can't wait for it to dry because I have children who want to be fed. So <laughs> story of my life. see how that tree pulls up into the foreground there in front of the black tree I put in the trunk I'm gonna make sure I have a light enough color I can even add a little bit of the cool blue to get to stand out tree comes right through here okay I'm gonna make that green color and because this is an impressionistic painting I need to make sure that green color is throughout my painting that I had added into the tree right here so I'm just gonna add it in some areas okay now I'm gonna make this look rocky just pulling in some of those colors This have some greenery just a little bit now to get it to look like these are rocks we need to have some contrast behind them so I'm just gonna add in that purple that dark purple through here Put some of that red color in here just for some dimension And some of that purple color needs to be in here as well. Okay, and then come in with some lines. Go in between these rocks. 
When you're done, sign your work. Thank you so much for creating with me. I want to give a shout out to my Create Full Art members who helped make this video possible. You can become a member right here and get weekly art lessons as well. And you can watch more videos right here and here. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.